In this day and age, do elementary schools need bulletproof glass? It is a question they're pondering up in Port Washington. Nick Montez reports. I spoke to the principal here at Lincoln Elementary School, and she says big changes are coming to the school. She says they've been in the works for quite some time, and it's all about enhancing safety. At Lincoln Elementary School, security is tight. So we have a number of security plans in place, um, you know, making sure that all of our doors are locked while students are present in the building. But a plan to redesign the school's entryway would make security even tighter. You know, this area out here, the front of our building will be bumped out just a little bit in this area. Mm -hmm. This will be a waiting area. It's a waiting room with an access window for parents. It's to keep better control of who comes in the school. But the controversy lies in whether that window should be laminated glass or be bulletproof. A city planning commissioner raised that question to the architect two weeks ago. They brought it up because of Sandy Hook? I would guess probably yes. Right now, the project will cost between $100,000 and $120,000. We don't know how much the price would go up if the school decided to use bulletproof glass. No one from the Port Washington Sockville School District would go on camera, but told us right now there are no plans to use bulletproof glass. Some parents aren't on board with the idea. I don't know why you'd waste the money on one bulletproof glass window when none of the other windows will be bulletproof. And the school hopes to start construction of the new entryway this summer and be done in time for the new school year. In Port Washington, Nick Montez, today's TMJ4.